Hey guys, this week we're doing the Sin City A Dame to Kill For trailer and I'm gonna show you exactly how we made it. Is that how Dustin did it? Hey guys, my name is Mike Cruz. Some of you may know me from the Taste of Channel or some other places around YouTube, and some of you have seen me here on Cinefic. I really wanted to try my hands at one episode, uh, and this is the episode that I picked, and this is the episode that I really wanted to do. So the first challenge was uh, that there's a million people in this movie. There's Jessica Alba, Josh Brolin, Ava Green, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So I had to go find like 10 different actors to come and do this. I'm so excited. We found some really, really cool people. Sasha Alexander, who does a ton of YouTube stuff, and TV. She played Jessica Alba and she was really, really, really good. Liam McKendrick, who has a great web series called Destroy the Alpha Gammas that just got nominated for a streamy. She was playing Ava Green. I'm oh. so excited. So I'm getting exciting. naked. Woo! Lionel was great, who played Josh Brolin. Uh, we were really, really lucky to get to work with John D, uh, who, who goes by Simply Spoons on YouTube. He played Joseph Gordon-Levitt. My friend Lawrence played Mort. Antonio played the one shot by Dennis Haysbert. My friend Don Anderson played Miho. And she was a trooper because she's on crutches. I've never had stickier armpits right, than today. Ready? But you have had sticky okay, armpits. Where? I suppose. Not really. What? Challenge number two was definitely the production design. The number of sets, the number of places, the number of different guns and weapons was kind of incredible. Luckily, I got Ben on board. He only had about two days to prep for all the props in the shoot. Well, I did the door frames and the brick wall, and I did all the wardrobe uh, and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, you see. It's my <laughs> no! No! I broke it. The biggest uh, visual challenge of this piece was the fact that it's in black and white. The biggest problem with that is that there are shots where there are accents of color. Her lips are red, her eyes are green, but we couldn't do those things with special effects. And so we had to shoot the whole thing in color and then make it look like it was black and white in camera. That was our only option. Sin City is known for its very noir look, which is very harsh shadows. And this trailer has a lot of them for some of the stuff like the bed sheets and the pillows we're actually gonna be painting the shadows right onto the pillows. There's a shot where he has a very intricate chair, so I just finished drawing that. I draw him in pencil first. Usually what we do with furniture is we just grab anything that looks right and we just throw it in. The reason I'm making everything is because it has to be grayscale and I don't wanna just buy furniture just to spray paint it and ruin it. So I would say in about like 60%, 70% of the shots in this trailer, there's a brick wall. I'm gonna proceed with the tedious task of turning this black cloth in a brick wall with this white tape. <laughs> and it only took hours. There's that shot looking through the wood boards. I'm gonna make those out of cardboard and paint them. Something I never thought about before was that we never actually use like paint, acrylic paint or anything like that. It's always spray paint. The reason is because it dries quicker, it's cheaper than acrylic paint. I think the only thing we ever actually painted acrylic was stuff for our um, 1960s Batman intro. I got lots of guns, toy guns here, which look really great when you spray paint them. Sometimes it helps when you're spray painting stuff to put down a primer first, and I did that with all the guns, so they have a gray primer on them, and now I'm gonna hit them with the silver to make them look nice and shiny. So they still have a shine to them, but they're not like super metallic anymore, they're just sort of matted down. What I'm doing right now is I'm adding shadows and highlights directly onto the gun using Sharpie and white paint marker. And it really helps like make it look very stylized. Like this is uh, like out of a cartoon almost. It's a lot of work for a subtle difference, but it's definitely a different. And of course, the katana blade. This is a plastic one. I'm gonna spray paint this one white because the blade is kind of glowing. I actually have a real katana blade, but I don't want to paint it because it's real. Okay, we are at the location for the Sin City shoot. We got an actual stage. It's a lot bigger than Dustin's house. We got real makeup. First time on homemade movies that we've ever had real 
makeup. And I brought in my friend Eric Fox, who you might recognize from season nine of Face Off on the Sci Fi Channel. This is Eric, makeup man. How's it going, makeup guys? Makeup effects, right? Makeup effects. Makeup We're effects. gonna do prosthetics, so do some cool black and white makeups. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're doing prosthetics on homemade movies, guys. He uh, did us a really, really big favor because we definitely can't afford someone at his level. And so he came on board with his crew to turn everybody into a real life black and white thing. You look very evil. Are you ready to blink? Yes. Am I, is, is this good? What are you doing? I'm just making some lines to kind of mimic the film noir look of the trailer. Oh my God, this is very light. Oh, the yes, it's not real. Yeah. This isn't real? It feels so real. For the shot where Josh Brolin is falling down the hallway, we lined this hall with sheets, and then we had Lionel on a chair, Ben was pushing him from below, James was over Ben filming it, and I was at the end holding a sheet playing the window. They had to run Lionel at me while I ran at him, and we crashed into each other. Whoa. For the shot of Ava Green in the smoke, we literally just put up a table with uh, with a light behind it and the smoke machine, uh, and she just leaned against the table as if it was a, a bathtub. It's like I'm in Pleasantville and I'm the color one. <laughs> what are you drinking there? Vodka. What kind of vodka? <laughs> um, home, homemade movie is vodka, <laughs> actually. <laughs> For the stripper scene, which was the really big scene, um, you know, he made these giant shapes out of the white cardboard that we already had. I have to do this really fast, so instead of uh, hand drawing all of these bottles, I'm actually going to make a stencil out of the vodka prop bottle. Uh, and luckily in the space there was a stage, so we just taped the stage uh, with some white tape and then put everybody else that was already in makeup out to be the girls on the sides. Nobody was going to be looking at anything but Sasha anyway. That's what I do. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Real quick, James, what are they doing? He has to go from almost complete darkness to being lit, which is kind of impossible without blocking the light and having it move in the shot. Where's my effing light? Not a lot happens in these miniatures. Usually in the miniatures we do are like lots of explosions and stuff like that. So uh, I wanted to make them at least look pretty sweet. This is a light table. Uh, I'm gonna cut out Michael's Sin City logo that he drew, put it on the light table, shine light through. But I'm putting all these little paper buildings that are really quick to make. I just sort of folded some little strips of construction paper in half and I'm hot gluing them to a piece of acetate. A small amount of little buildings goes a long way. There's a slight delay when the light comes on, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six and the Dame to Kill for. This was a crazy, crazy wild ride. I'd again like to thank everybody that participated in this, all of the actors, uh, James behind the camera, Ben doing production design, Eric doing the most amazing makeup with his crew, John D, Simply Spoons for playing Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and really every single person that was involved in this. If you haven't checked out our version of Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, make sure you check that out right now. Watch the side-by-side -side comparison. I think we nailed the timing almost perfectly. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Cinefix for more awesome movie content, and. Uh, uh, I hope I see you soon. Bye.